Uh, so my name is Nai Chang Ye. Uh, I'm a professor of physics uh, in, at California Institute of Technology in the United States. And my uh, specialty of research area is in condensed matter physics, particularly in ex experimental part of the condensed matter physics. Uh, my name is Ting Guo Li. I'm from uh, Taiwan. Uh, currently, I'm the director of uh, Institute of Physics at Academia Sinica. Okay, my name is Yung Bang. I, I'm from Korea, uh, repre uh, representing the center APCTP. And the APCTP center is actually the organization in, in Korea which uh, jointly uh, support this activity with uh, ETAP. Uh, my name is Xin Zhang Zhou from the Institute of Physics. Chinese Academy of Sciences, Beijing, China, and I'm working mainly on the condensed matter physics. I'm an experimentalist, mainly working on high temperature superconductors. Um, actually, I have been uh, affiliated with activities here for three years now. Um, three years ago, I was invited by Professor Turu Akioku to come here to teach summer school. Uh, so I actually gave 60 hours of lectures here over two weeks period of time. And that was my first visit here uh, to, to eat up. And after that, uh, Professor Hakiyaku actually asked me to help uh, organizing the following summer school. And so I actually invited a number of um, famous physicists uh, from different parts of the world uh, to come and teach the following year summer school. That was 2010. And at the time, we decided to start um, to, to start a collaboration, um, and joint activities uh, with Asia. Uh, and so I contacted Asian Pacific Center for Theoretical Physics, it's abbreviated as APCTP, and then uh, they actually signed, uh, to, a little over a year ago, ago, they signed an agreement with Professor Hakioku. And then so now we have uh, joint activities since last year. We arranged the summer school. And then again, the, this year is the second time. Um, overall, I think um, these are very good activities. I think um, at least my interactions with students and colleagues here have been very productive. Um, based on my own experience, I believe that students actually uh, could learn a lot. And the other interesting thing is that um, students also got the opportunities to interact with uh, these scientists from different parts of the world. Uh, our organization in Korea, APCTP, actually had made an uh, exchange agreement with ETAP uh, two years ago. Before that, uh, I, did, I didn't know about ETAP at all, but uh, this is uh, our second time of this joint activity. Then I'm very happy to see uh, enormous of uh, progress uh, ETAP made in these two years. So again, this year I'm visiting here and I found this new campus and this is lovely place and we are having a, a great time with uh, uh, many speakers from all over the world so I'm very happy to see this uh, rapid progress. This is my second time to this conference. Uh, ETAP uh, is doing very well, I have to say. I'm very impressed with the uh, conference at the academic uh, level uh, in this conference and uh, I was uh, not expecting that much last year when I came here and uh, but I was really surprised at the how good the environment very nice atmosphere for people to interact and people top quality scientists from all over the world are here uh, to exchange views and uh, we have a great opportunities to work, uh, talk, discuss with uh, students and postdocs. So this is a very enjoyable occasion, also very fruitful uh, visit for many of us. So I'm very uh, happy that uh, ETAPA can uh, really help uh, uh, to start a such kind of organization in this area of the world. And uh, the, for many of the speakers, they will tell you this is their first time to Turkey. And they are very impressed by the, all the 
very nice surrounding and the food culture, uh, people's uh, hospitality are all very surprised to them uh, if they are the first time here. But I am already sort of used to, but I'm still impressed. This is my second time to come here. I was here last time. Actually, before I came here, I knew very little about it, Turkey and also very little about ITAP. But after these two times, actually, I learned a lot from ITAP. And I think ITAP and, and the leadership of Professor uh, Taguro Hakiyoglu, it really made a big progress. Yeah, I can see from the, the time I came last year, it has only one campus. Now it has two campuses, and I heard that it's, it's still expanding. Also, the scientific programming, also a program, is also uh, expanding. I can see a lot of programs every year. And for this particular um, workshop and school, I can see that, okay, just the top notch, notch scientists from all over the world, they come here to give lectures. And I can see many students, yeah, 20 or 30 students, they stay here all the time and have very live discussion. I feel very impressed. I think, actually, I think I feel even moved because this is really a good place for Turkey students and also for students from other countries. I see some students from other countries, like South Korea, like Taiwan. They just live together, discuss together, exchange ideas. This really play, provide a very good platform for them to just uh, not only for scientific exchange, but also to foster some friendship, to understand it between them. So I think I, I'm really impressed by the work down here. I think ETAP in the last two or three years has really made a big progress in working along this direction. I, I'm really impressed. Yeah. All of the topics we selected for, for the conference and summer schools are really ongoing, the hottest, the most frontier topics. Otherwise, we would not have picked them. And so we want students to get exposure to what's going on all over the world and what people are excited about. So students get to see what's ongoing. Actually, like during the discussion session that just ended, uh, people w was would be seeing people were seeing new data, completely fresh data. They have not been published, and, and new concepts. Uh, so, so I think it's great, and students get to see uh, scientists in action, how people interact, how people think, and and uh, not, not just the frontier of the topics. And also during the summer school, they actually. Uh, receive some background information first before they attended the conference. So I think this entire structure is a very good thing. Um, the, the institute, if the institute can secure more funds for the future, I think it would be even nicer to have, say, uh, visiting scholar programs that they can have invite people from different parts of the world staying here for like a few months uh, to do research to interact with local scientists, I think that would be really, really good. And also, um, also of course, the institute right now has been signing uh, exchange, uh, well, not exchange, uh, signing agreements, uh, collaboration agreements with several important places in the world. And I think that will enhance the visibility here, providing more opportunities for for uh, students and young scholars from Turkey and also provide uh, outside people additional uh, ways of uh, coming here to, to experience Turkey and to interact. Um, actually, like during this conference, um, there, there's a new agreement that will be signed soon. That's um, between uh, uh, ITAP ETAP, and uh, Institute of Physics in China, Beijing. And so that, I think that will be a very exciting event. Um, and then there will be more to come, I believe. And so, so people, the people I invited here, they really enjoyed it. Uh, and I think it's just, it, it, it's wonderful diplomacy also for Turkey to showcase uh, the place, the people, and the culture. Yeah. And, and so, so in terms of science, it's great. Uh, and it's beyond just science. It's good for education, it's good for diplomacy, it's good for goodwill all over the world. Usually this kind of organization uh, uh, needs some help from um, outside and then uh, among other things, uh, government support is uh, most important and essential part. So government should understand the impo importance of uh, this activity 
uh, in general, the science exchange, or we can call science diplomat, and uh, uh, this is good for uh, uh, also government. So government should uh, provide strong support for this kind of activity. I had a similar experience in establishing a, a center for theoretical sciences. Uh, in physics in Taiwan in 1997. I was uh, the uh, director of physics division for about six years since 1997. That was a new organization set up by Taiwan's National Science Council, uh, which uh, is the administrative uh, agency to fund uh, research in universities. So this organization was set up was to promote fundamental physics, theoretical physics research. And of course, we set up many programs to interact with the experimentalists. And it uh, has been quite successful in the sense not only we attract many visitors uh, from foreign, but we also trained, incubated, incubated many uh, very bright young scientists to become faculty later on in uh, most of the national research universities. So they now are providing important uh, contribution to Taiwan's participation in advanced uh, physics research. And I believe ETAPA can uh, do the same thing even better with uh, much more population surrounding this area much larger area and uh, seems like in this area there are no such kind of organization to really uh, gather people from everywhere or different uh, area of physics research and can work together, talk together and stimulate. Stimulating is the key word in physics research. One must constantly interact with different areas people or with your own area of expertise to uh, keep on getting new ideas and uh, to enhance your research. Only new ideas are the most important thing for physics research. So I believe ETAPA can provide a very nice facility or a nice way to enhance this area uh, and also to Turkish uh, science development. So I believe the, uh, the organization should be strongly supported by the government and, uh, and uh, they already have a strong support from many similar centers in the world. Uh, and many uh, professors uh, from all over the world have come here to support this activity. So I think in the future, an ETAP should uh, strengthen the collaboration with uh, other countries. I know at present already, the ETAP already has established some uh, agreements with the South Korea, also Taiwan, and also Italy. And at this time when I come, actually we, we are talking about to establish some collaboration between China and Turkey. So we are, we are, we are working on uh, an agreement, maybe in the very near future, in the next uh, two or three months, we want to also have agreements sign agreements between China and Turkey so we can work together. I think in the future just the uh, ETAP will just enhance the collaboration and exchange just uh, to many other countries so it, it, it will get um, more people involved so that's the and also it, it can also get a, make an even better program, scientific program so many people can participate. Um, I think um the, the establishment of this institute is one of a kind in Turkey. Uh, it's based, it's a private organization, and the director, Professor Hakiuku, works extremely hard to make it successful. And I think it's, some, it's a very noble deed he is trying to do. He wants to enhance the science, enhance and broaden the views of young students and scholars here. And I think it's great. And then it's not just benefiting Turkish students uh, when people come from all over the world and they interact in a pleasant environment, it's always great. And so um, it's great that there, 
this institution is here, and I certainly hope that there will be uh, good government support for this kind of program, um, because it's very successful. It's really showing a difference, and and people all over the world who have come here really love it. Uh, I think uh, government support, of course, is the most important thing, because uh, you have to. Without support, you cannot do anything. But uh, if you already have the support, of course, the next important thing is to really organize some good program. You get the best people to come, right? I think that's the best people to come to change ideas. Also, I think the also we need to get students to come so we can educate our future generation of scientists. That's also very, very important. So I think the main purpose here is not only for the present best scientists to exchange ideas, also another mission is to train and to educate the future scientists. I think the activities here are lively and, and um, also the environment is very pleasant, other than the heat <laughs> sometimes, but, but overall it's a beautiful location. So, um, and also we try to keep the scale of the conference and workshop small, not too big. And that way people can interact very effectively. So I think uh, it's overall very good for science, very good for education, and good for friendship too. <laughs>